Did you know hackers can silently hijack your phone and listen to your private calls without you even noticing a single ring or notification? Welcome to my channel. Today you're going to learn how over-the-air, or OTA, exploits and silent SMS can turn your phone into a spy device. Miss any part, and you might miss the exact method attackers use to exploit even the most secure phones. Now let's get started. Alright, let's break this down. A silent SMS is a message sent to your phone that doesn't alert you in any way, no sound, no pop-up. But behind the scenes, it forces your phone to respond, and when paired with an OTA command, it gets dangerous. OTA, or over-the-air technology, was built for telecom companies to manage your SIM card remotely. They use it to send updates, push configurations or activate features, but hackers can craft malicious OTA messages, and when your phone accepts them, they can silently trigger actions like activating call forwarding, installing SIM-based spyware, or sending your location or identity, like IMSI or IMEI, all without you ever seeing a thing. So how do hackers actually pull off this kind of attack? It's not as simple as sending a regular text message. There's a whole process behind the scenes, and it's surprisingly sophisticated. Let's break it down step by step so you can see just how methodical and technical these cyber criminals can be. Step 1. They need your IMSI number. That's the International Mobile Subscriber Identity, and it's basically the unique fingerprint of your SIM card. With this number, hackers can target your device specifically, making their attack much more precise and effective. There are a few ways to get your IMSI. Hackers might use an IMSE catcher, a device that tricks your phone into connecting and reveals its identity, or they could exploit vulnerabilities in the SS7 protocol which is used by telecom networks to communicate. Sometimes they even find your IMSI in data dumps from previous breaches. Step 2. With your IMSI in hand, they craft a special kind of text message called a binary SMS. This isn't a normal message you'd see in your inbox. It's written in a format called OTA, or over the air, which is designed to send commands directly to your SIM card. This binary SMS carries a hidden command. For example, it might tell your phone to forward all incoming calls to a number the hacker controls. The scary part? You won't see this message and you won't get any notification. Step 3. The hacker sends this message using specialized tools. They might use software like SM Stools, issue AT commands or even exploit weaknesses in telecom infrastructure to deliver the message silently, without raising any red flags. If your SIM card is vulnerable, it receives the command and executes it instantly, no questions asked. The process is completely invisible to you so you have no idea your phone's behavior has changed. Some advanced attackers go a step further. They spoof the sender address, making the message look like it's coming from your mobile carrier. This helps the command slip past any basic security checks your phone might have. The end result? Your phone starts forwarding calls to a number chosen by the hacker. You might not even notice except maybe for a tiny icon or a missed call here and there. Now the hacker can listen in on every call you make or receive. They don't need to install any malware and they never have to physically touch your device. It's all done remotely, using just a few clever tricks and some technical know-how. You don't need to be a government agency or a high-level spy to get your hands on these tools. In fact, many of the resources hackers use are surprisingly accessible to anyone with a bit of curiosity and technical know-how. The world of hacking isn't just reserved for professionals or secretive organizations. Enthusiasts, students, and even hobbyists can explore these tools from the comfort of their own homes. Here are the tools hackers commonly use, each one designed for a specific purpose, and each one capable of revealing just how vulnerable our digital lives can be. Wireshark, for example, is a powerful network protocol analyzer. Hackers use it to sniff mobile network traffic, capturing and dissecting data packets as they travel across networks. This tool is often used by security professionals too, but in the wrong hands, it can expose sensitive information like passwords or private messages. Silent SMS is a Python-based tool that lets hackers send stealthy, invisible SMS messages. These messages don't show up on the target's phone, but they can trigger responses or reveal information about the device, making it a favorite for silent probing. SimTester is another tool in the arsenal. It checks if a SIM card is vulnerable to over-the-air or OTA commands. If a SIM is found to be weak, it could be remotely manipulated without the user ever knowing. Osmocom SIM Trace is used for spying on SIM card commands in real time. By monitoring the communication between a phone and its SIM card, hackers can uncover valuable data 
or even clone the sim. Then there's OpenBSC, OpenBTS, and YateBTS, open source software that allows hackers to set up fake cell towers. With these, they can impersonate real towers, trick phones into connecting and extract SIM identities or intercept calls and texts. SS7 Map is a tool for exploiting the SS7 protocol, which is used by telecom networks worldwide. By abusing SS7, hackers can remotely locate phones, intercept calls or redirect text messages, often without leaving a trace. Most of these tools are open source, freely available online or shared in private telegram hacker groups, the barrier to entry is lower than you might think, and information spreads quickly in these underground communities. And no, we're not talking about elite cyber teams or shadowy figures in secret labs. Many of these hackers are just regular people, students, tech enthusiasts, or even teenagers experimenting after school. With a laptop, a sim reader and some determination, a motivated student can learn to use these tools and pull off surprisingly advanced attacks in just a weekend. The world of hacking is more accessible and more real than most people realize. Think this is just theory? In 2019 researchers exposed a global attack known as Simjacker. It used silent SMS and OTA commands to take full control of phones in over 30 countries. Telecoms never notified customers. No pop-ups, no warning. In another case, the NSA and GCHQ were caught stealing SIM keys from Gamalto to inject malicious OTA updates globally. During political unrest, some governments used silent OTA messages to track protesters, activate microphones and reroute calls to government listening centers. These attacks are silent, scalable and almost impossible to detect. So how do you defend yourself from invisible attacks? In a world where digital threats are constantly evolving it's more important than ever to take proactive steps to secure your personal information and communications. Hackers and cyber criminals are always looking for new ways to exploit vulnerabilities so let's break down some practical ways you can protect yourself. First, switch to secure messaging apps like Signal or Telegram for your calls and messages. These apps are designed with privacy in mind, using end-to-end -end encryption to keep your conversations safe from prying eyes. Unlike regular SMS or phone calls, Signal and Telegram encrypt your communication and don't rely on the SIM card, making it much harder for attackers to intercept your data. Next, take control of your call forwarding settings. Many attacks exploit call forwarding to hijack your calls and texts. You can manually disable call forwarding using these codes. Pound pound 002 pound disables all call forwarding on your device. And star pound 21 pound lets you check if any of your calls are being secretly forwarded without your knowledge. It's a quick step that can make a big difference. Also, be cautious about the SIM cards you use. Avoid cheap or outdated SIM cards. Many newer cards include over-the-air OTA protection, which helps block remote attacks that can compromise your phone. Use phones that let you turn off 2G connectivity. Older 2G networks are much less secure, and most modern exploits rely on vulnerabilities in this outdated GSM technology. By disabling 2G, you make it significantly harder for attackers to use these exploits against you, especially if you travel or use your phone in public places. For Android users, consider installing SIM security tools like Snoop Snitch. This app can alert you to suspicious OTA commands or network attacks, giving you a heads up if something unusual is happening behind the scenes. And when it comes to two-factor authentication, don't rely on SMS codes. Text messages can be intercepted or redirected by attackers putting your accounts at risk. Instead, use dedicated authentication apps like Authy or Google Authenticator. These generate codes directly on your device making them much more secure than SMS-based options. While you can't stop every possible attack, taking these steps will make you a much harder target and dramatically improve your digital security. Stay vigilant, keep your software updated, and always be cautious with your personal information. The scary part? Your phone trusts silent SMS and OTA commands by default. Hackers exploit that trust. No app, no malware, just messages that hide in plain sight. This is how modern eavesdropping works. Invisible, untraceable, and honestly, terrifyingly effective. If you found this valuable, like and subscribe. I'm dropping more advanced cybersecurity breakdowns every week. Stay private, stay encrypted. See you in the next one.